Wanda Sky said, if there's something out there that you're supposed to be doing, if you have a passion for it, then stop wishing and just do it. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on various social media handles that are flashing on the screen and will also be given in the description below. And hey, thank you so very much if you're doing that already. We all know that passion helps us retain our energy and excitement, right? The energy to relentlessly pursue regardless of the outcome and the excitement at making that difference. When you're passionate about something, you really don't care about the support or validation from others. It's good to have, but you don't really need it. My guest today is an example of it. Deepak Toshniwal wears multiple hats. He's a global business consultant and a strategist, an innovative thinker, and most importantly, he pursued his passion and set up a company with an intention to change the way our country looks at and consumes chocolates. Yep, you heard me right. He's a chocolatier par excellence and as a loyal Customer, I'm delighted that he could join us today to share his failure story with us. Welcome, Deepak Ji. Thank you so very much for giving us your time and your willingness to share your story. Your journey to become a chocolatier has not been a smooth ride, right? So, can you share your story with us? I am from a pharmaceutical background. I am from a pharmaceutical profession. Uh, right from research to exports. I used to travel a lot in the African countries and fortunately, unfortunately, I am a vegetarian. So, traveling to downtown is a big challenge in those countries because you don't, they don't understand what's vegetarian food. So, what I used to do, I used to go to a, a mall, I used to buy a chocolate with green logo, the green logo. And I used to put in my rucksack bag and I used to travel or little you can say I used to leave on chocolates. So what happened one day, one of the time, I took chocolate for three to four days and I started traveling. There was a journey of eight to ten hours. We started with four days of chocolates in my bag. By the end of the evening, when I put my hand in the bag, I saw there was no chocolate inside. That means I ate all my chocolates. So that triggered me. Why did I eat so many chocolates in one day? So then a weird thought came, I, I'm in Africa, is this drug or something? So I get addicted, but it, that was not the case. Then I came to know I'm standing in the continent where the world's number one cocoa is produced. So while coming back, I brought the cocoa. I started doing research on chocolates. The results were very shocking. Many of the brands which are called actually chocolates are not chocolates. And that time I decided that I will enter into field and I'll try, I'll try to show and bring awareness in my countrymen and what actual original chocolate is. Then I discussed with my friends, relatives and everybody that I want to enter into the world of chocolates. So everybody was demotivating me. Everybody said, chocolates, what are you going to do with chocolates? There are such big players. There are so many people there in the market. What are you going to do? Are you going to sell the chocolate for 50 paisa, 1 rupee? Who is going to buy your chocolate? Who knows you? What is your brand? Do you know how much money you require to build a brand? So that was very demotivating. They rejected my idea. One full day, I literally cried. This complete project of mine is failed. Very, very sad. And then I decided to shelve the project. But what happened, you know, the passion inside me was not allowing me. My subconscious mind was not allowing me. It was saying that, Deepak, don't shelve this. You can do it. There is something which was not allowing me to completely stop this. So my passion, my inner voice was telling me I should do it. So only for that, I said, I will do this. Whether I get profit, whether the people accept it or not accept it. But at least one thing I am going to get that the richest thing in life is satisfaction. I had accepted in public and said, okay, I'm going to shelve this project. I'm not going to do that. I spent one and a half to two years. I did my research today. After eight to nine years, my tagline is ICC. It's not Indian Cricket Council, but it's Indian Chocolate Company. I want to sell it in 100 countries. Or in other words, I want 100 countries to buy Indian chocolates. So that's the reason I call it as ICC. Wow. So this is my turning point. Wow, that's really impressive. And I'm sure you're so proud of yourself for taking that decision at that time, right? Uh, but I want you to take us back to the point where you're feeling sad, Deepak Ji. Because a lot of us make mistakes during that time when we are down and rejected and feeling sad, right? When everyone you know has pulled you down and rejected your idea, what are the next steps that you that will help you overcome them? We want to understand what did you do? How did you overcome those feelings? 
I think that's a very fantastic question, Aparna. It is a process. What you asked is a process from failure, rejection to coming to first step of your foundation. What I did was, as I said, two days I gave it to myself to come out of all the emotions. I went to my mother. When I discussed with my mother and I said that this is the story and this is what there, she said, what does your conscious say? How confident you are? She asked me two questions. I said, my conscious say I should do. Then she said, how confident? I said, I'm confident. Then she said, just listen to yourself. Then I started talking to the positive people. Even in my friends, I selected whoever is positive, whoever takes life positively, I started to talk to them. And that's where I started to build my passion and I started to discuss my passion. I also read many stories how people uh, faced failures and how they started. I think, Aparna, this is what is the phase I was talking. This is the process what you were talking about and I'm telling you this is the turning point of your life and everybody faces it. Yes, and, and it, it is such a pertinent point, Deepakji, what you just said, right? So it's entirely up to us whether we have support as in your case, your mother was supporting you. Uh, whether you have that support or no, the moment you realize that, you know what, this is my dream, uh, I can only let other people do so much uh, damage to my, uh, you know, self-confidence. But yes, I can, it is now up to me to come out of this quicksand, I can say, where I am stuck in, right? So you raise a very uh, important point that, you know, just change the environment around you and be around positive people and, do positive things that can actually help you elevate out of uh, the the low feelings that you are in you know from the low energy thank you so much for that share but so i want to understand so when you launched the company disha foods what was the reaction of all those people around you i'm curious to know that first and foremost thing when i decided first i decided to make a company name as called disha disha means right direction number one Number two, as I said, my burning desire was only one from day one that I need to sell to 100 countries. I want 100 countries to buy Indian chocolate. So when people started, uh, uh, when they when I started announcing that I have come up with the chocolates, so people initially didn't respond. Initially, people were not taken it positively. They have not taken me positively. But when I started saying that I am going to do only research-based chocolates, I am going to do health-based chocolates, I am going to be different Whatever is there in the market, I do not want to do. I want to add value because I always believe in one thing. Whether you do a job, you become an entrepreneur or you are at a homemaker. What one thing everybody should do is you should add value to what you do. So there is a chocolate industry already there. What I need to do is I need to add value to that. I need to do something different which can be helpful to people, which can be beneficial to the public, which can be beneficial to my country and to the world and to the entire human humanity so this is one thing what uh, i decided and this is uh, this is what i believe in that's a fantastic share thank you so much for that deepak ji i have one final question for you uh, there are a lot of people who are uh, living life without passion at least they don't have a clarity of what their passion is uh, so if there is a message that you'd like to give to them what would that be they say whenever you fall in love whenever you fall in love you need to express. Whenever you fall in love, you need to express. If you don't express, that's a first failure. Similarly, when you have a passion, do it. Whenever you have a passion, do it. Just don't ignore it because that's a failure of your inner self. Everybody has got a passion. Uh, once you start execute it, your life becomes so fantastic, so positive. Then you don't care what you are going to earn. What, how much you are going to earn, it doesn't matter. What it matters, satisfaction. Uh, this is what only one message I could say. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so very much, Deepak Ji. So once again, thanks, Aparna, for bringing this subject. And I'm, I'm very happy to be a part of this uh, mission of yours and uh, uh, your uh, this episode. I am thank grateful. So I'm my pleasure. My pleasure. I totally enjoy these discussions and I learn so much more from them. So thank you for that share once again and thank you for watching up until this far. If you have any questions for uh, Deepak Toshniwal or me, you can leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media handles that are flashing on the screen. If you like this video and you found something resourceful out of it, if you like the series, uh, you know what to do, right? Uh, click on the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week with another topic. Until then, Take good care of yourself. Stay home, stay safe. 
Corona has not left us uh, as yet. So please take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.